you talk about this this is a pair of new jound new balance sneakers they don't stop just when you thought they're gonna end with their collaboration it looks like new balance for the most part are trying to hmm, what's it change but new balance are doing i think a new approach when it comes to collabs they're aiming for long-term relationships and partnerships as opposed to just one hit wonders one one you know one hit and bang and kind of move on no one night stands when it comes to new balance they're like no you're gonna be my boyfriend by flipping force you're gonna be my boyfriend and clearly john has said yes and i think maybe you're gonna shoot me here but i think these might be the best ones these might be the best ones i've seen from john legitimately outside of the um ridiculously dark navy ones that look almost dark black those are one of my favorites too but in terms of a colorway especially on the model that i'm not really the biggest fan of these are so amazing so these are jammed and new balance 990 version 3 in olive and black and as per usual when it comes to jammed and their collaboration with new balance the thing that really strikes it for me is just the color placements and the use of materials so obviously on yappa you always got to use suede when you're working with new balance there's no other material to use really no one really does opt for leather you don't really see a lot of people going for leather uppers when it comes to working with new i mean in terms of like you know premium levers or tumbled levers or patterns and stuff it's always suedes and kind of new bucks and meshes interesting right but i guess it kind of goes to the models too um you don't want to have an all leather new balance 990 it just looks a bit weird in it um but yeah the color placements for me are one of the things that make this really special you got all the olive bits kind of kind of dominating a lot of the upper but then you've got some really touch you got some really clever touches of the black especially around the toe box that kind of accentuates this toe box type shape it doesn't make it all one thing that kind of will make it a little bit too big and make it look too rounded the addition of the black laces again i feel like new balance have some of the best laces in the game out of the box whatever this lace threading is called i love everything about it um you've got a really nice kind of almost is it like what would you call that would you call that an would you call that the olive on the on the end on the inside and it's got a black border with a black on there um, i'm assuming it's probably going to have the jound written on the back of the hill but we can't see the hill and then it's got an entirely black outsole which again reminds me of um sorry midsole and outsole which again reminds me of the mitre sort of um sneakers the kind of japanese collaborations that they used to do back in the day with new balance where a lot of the soles were always kind of one block color um but i love them i really 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 do love them there's no idea on the date so far is there there's one picture here courtesy of jound but we don't have any idea on a date so spring summer 2022 but no idea on a date i feel like going forward is an interesting thing to do in terms of long-term relationships and partnerships because obviously nike don't do that nike always have a bit of a they've always been like this because again i used to work for the company so i can definitely say this with chest that nike have always kind of been a little bit up their own ass in terms of how they approach sneaker collaborations or how they approach sneakers in general maybe only in the last few years they've fully embraced sneaker culture but for the most part they felt like they i won't say despised it but they look, they look down on sneakerheads and they even in some cases kind of looked down or took for granted some of their collaborations that they had with sneaker with sort of brands and designers and stuff they were working with collaborations they just took it for granted and usually if you wanted to have a second round as a nike collaborator you didn't get them but nowadays things have changed you think of undefeated they've had a quite a few long-term collaborations unions had a few, quite a few but others have only had a one hit and completely gone so it's interesting to see new balance do a real concentrated effort in terms of collaborating with um Amelion dior jound you would maybe put into the mix stray rats if that makes sense i can't think of anyone else who's really a prominent thing but you know what i mean that like they they are obviously going for something there's obviously a plan in mind the only thing i would say is a kind of word of caution they are leaning a lot very very heavily on their sort of quote-unquote retro silhouettes there's not of uh, you know with the exception of salili Bembry, there's not really a lot of innovation going on in their collabs most of the it is just focused on retros and i don't know because i feel like if you lean too much into the retro you end up being like nike at the end of the day you are going to stagnate and just be repeating the hits again and again and again maybe brands want that but i feel like you know nowadays 
the you know the abundance of dunks and jordans and air maxes it just gets boring after a while they don't really make any new interesting shapes and with these other brands out there yeezy being a good example of them pushing the envelope and really challenging consumers and consumers saying hey i'm ready for a new shape like the say what you want about the 350s um or the wave runners or the 700s um they are interesting shapes legitimately interesting shapes and for the most part general public have really lapped kind of lapped them up they've said yeah we like those shoes we like that shape we like the non you know we like the fact that the, the tongue doesn't move the fact that there's no clear logos to tell you what shoe brand this is and stuff like all these really weird things they don't really get on kind of conventional shoes nowadays people kind of really lapped up and i feel like a lot of the bigger sports brands out there don't challenge the consumer enough they just kind of give them what they want not really because they just tell you it's limited when it's not limited and they backdoor some stuff and whatnot but in general they they kind of give them what they want and just stay in that safe space they know what works they know what sells out they know what gets the cues they know what generates the clicks and that's it they don't want to challenge anything else other than that and i feel like it just becomes very stale very quickly because there's only so many jordan ones dunks air force ones one man can buy and two it's like okay how much more do you know what I mean like enough's enough like even Pata look what Pata had to do with the MX1 Pata had to flip in completely wavify the mud guards and make it far more interesting of a shoe because they've already done everything with that fucking shoe um I feel like you know maybe New Balance should maybe be cautious of that and if they are going to have this long-term partnership approach with these brands and designers why not just have them do some interesting things every other season instead of having it just be the you know models we already know why not just introduce new shapes and new silhouettes via those brands have that be the cheat way like most brands do right most brands or nike being a, a good one as well before in the past they test retros with collabs um so one big example of them being comme des garçons they'd usually test some interesting shapes and silhouettes with Comme des Garçons and let them do those avant-garde, you know, applications of it. If it gets, if it becomes successful, it drops down to a tier zero, it goes to GR, whatever it may be, right? An LE, whatever. Those, those options are really still there, but I hope they do that going forward, New Balance. So, so it's not just a standard thing where it's always the 990s. Um, it's always the 574 it's always this like let's like let's move it out let's shake up a little bit because even at the moment with those new balance alds um 5550s i'm already getting bored of that shit already as well so i want to see some interesting things going forward but again i can't be mad at these new balance um 990 version threes from jound they're obviously going to come out soon most of us won't be able to get them but that is the way things are